If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is A Call for an Uprising. This is A Call for an Uprising. Welcome to today's show. This video was originally going to be exclusively for the website, but I figured everybody needs to know it. Not that there's things on the website that you don't need to know, uh, you know, or things here, vice versa. It's all really important. The stuff on the website is extremely important, especially stuff revolving the one-niners still about what the plan is. They're still talking about what's next. And, of course, things that are happening with the water from the one-niner, which are over on the website. If you're listening to this on the website, it's because I've uploaded it on both. So without having to edit it differently for both, you're hearing this and you're on the website and you're confused. This video is available on both, and I want to make sure everyone sees it, including people who may have unsubscribed. Give them a reason to come back to the website. It's really important content. And there's always a chance that this gets a strike because this information is going to be very, very important. So listen to this and share it. I want to talk about what's going on in the world and why you need to know this. The World Economic Forum, obviously everybody's familiar with it. Not only have people like myself exposed it, even the mainstream has brought attention to it, but not given anything more than slight amounts of attention to the Great Reset. I want to talk about Klaus Schwab, and I want to talk about the child organization that they run. Because just like the Freemasons, and don't think these people aren't Masons for a second, because they are, they get these people, these kids, at youth. The Freemasons use the Demolay, the... Eastern Star Witches use Job's Daughters and the Rainbow Girls. These are organizations where they groom young children. Here specifically, even compare, it's very comparable what the Masons and the Eastern Star Witches do because they groom them to become Masons and leaders in their local communities. This is on a bigger scale. The Forum of Young Global Leaders, which is what the World Economic Forum uses to groom young kids so that they can be leaders in this world, That's how they advertise it. But what they've done is they've groomed young leaders, put them in positions of power, and they have their hand on their puppet strings. And some of those leaders, which I'll show you in a few minutes, so bear with me, include Vladimir Putin, include Justin Trudeau. So here's a look at the Young Youth Organization and what they're trying to do to young children. The World Economic Forum welcomes the Young Global Leaders. This year we selected 245 young global leaders from 65 countries with representation in every region uh, of the world. The collaboration, the innovation, and the entrepreneurship that you see active in the community really is, I think, making a mark on society. It's a wonderful community of innovators and uh, people who have a great devotion to change the world to be a better place for humanity. A group so diverse of uh, young people in leadership positions sharing a commitment to build a better society can really make a forceful and powerful uh, agent of change. I truly believe that um, we can inspire each other to really, really shape this global agenda. They're not challenges, they're also opportunities if we, if we use them right. The World Economic Forum welcomes the young global leaders. Now, of course, There's people like Trudeau and Putin. It comes out of Klaus Schaub's mouth, his his own mouth, its own mouth, talking about who some of these young leaders are. And listen very close to what he says of who these leaders are and how they specifically, specifically, this quote, keep it in your head, okay? Penetrate cabinets. And that's, that's not the only thing Schwab's penetrating, and it ain't ladies, but penetrate cabinets cabinets listen up when you brought the young global leaders program here for executive education and the schwab fellows but there are two countries in the world now in which the young global leaders have emerged tell us just a bit about that in in terms of the governance yes um actually this um, notion to integrate young leaders uh, is part of the world economy since many years and i have to say um, when I mention our names, like Mrs. Merkel, um, even uh, Vladimir Putin, and so on, 
they all have been young global leaders of the World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. But um, what we are very proud of now is the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, um, President of, Brazil, of uh, Argentina and so on, is that we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was at a, rece at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau and I would know that half of this cabinet or even more half of, uh, half of this cabinet are for our actually young global leaders of the world. Great for them. And that's true in Argentina too. Wow. Yeah. Sorry. That's true in Argentina as well. It's true in Argentina and uh, it's true in France now. Mm -hmm. I'm here with the president who is a young global leader. But what is important for me is those young global leaders have an opportunity to come here. And we, in addition to the young global leaders, we have now the global shapers in uh, 450 cities around the world. So the World Economic Forum has groomed Vladimir Putin who is the face of what's going on right now, right? With the, the going into another country, uh, you know, trying to take over Ukraine, starting World War III, they're saying. And then Trudeau, the man who has called in martial law, recently pulled it back, but called in the Emergency Act over people protesting, has pretty much turned Canada into a dictatorship, are people that he's groomed. And it, he didn't say it once. He's mentioned Putin and other leaders like Merkel on multiple occasions. Our commitment on decarbonization on February, that means we're going to 99% renewable and clean electricity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now the challenge is we're going to plug that matrix onto transportation to reduce mm -hmm. dramatically mm -hmm. the, the emissions and to reduce the usage of fossil fuels until mm -hmm. we don't use those anymore. I know you play also a very important role in preserving, let's say, your forests. You have a young population, you have a, a relatively well-educated population. You can use the fossil industrial revolution to create, um, let's say, fast-track growth for your country. My commitment will be to add value. We'll be part of the Young Leaders yes, Initiative. this is Merkel, Tony Blair. Um, they were all, even uh, President Putin, they were all young global leaders before. Mm. So um, if I take you, if I take Chancellor Kurz and the New Zealand Prime okay. Minister, the three youngest leaders of governments are here. So we know that these people have been groomed by this organization. This is the same organization that has spoke of the Great Reset and what they want to do and what they plan to do to the world. So as I've said many times, how have we allowed a group like this, an organization like this, to wield power? Well, the answer is we have not. And how do they have power over governments? Because they control governments and politicians. These groups that have infiltrated governments, they are completely under control of this organization amongst others, but this is one on the forefront. Because even Trudeau has talked about, oh, how we need to get to the fourth industrial revolution. Diversity fosters new ideas. New ideas generate the experimentation needed to make the most of the fourth industrial revolution. Which is connecting humans to technology. They cannot achieve that without doing what they're doing. Without destroying all of this and rebuilding it. The reset. Trudeau has been on the record of saying so. And he's not the only one in this camp. We've seen Donald Trump at the World Economic Forum. Why? But of course, people in the comment section will be will say, oh, well, Trump was there because he had to go to show face, wink, wink, because he had to go back and, you know, he had to pretend he's a part of the group. Give me a break. Anybody who's a real person who organically gets elected, which doesn't happen, but if it did, would not show face to go to these places and show face and be like, oh, I'm on board with you. It's okay. It's cool. You think for one second I would? I'd show up there with a lot of phlegm in my mouth, ready to spit loogies if I did. That's for sure. And do way worse, but that's all you can say here on YouTube. So Trump obviously goes there and shows face. The guy in Ukraine. So the U Ukraine guy, the president of Ukraine, he shows up there, Zelensky. We are now very eager to hear from you 
how you see the future of Ukraine. Welcome very much, Mr. President. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to be here the first time. Um, I'm the president of Ukraine, so I'll speak Ukrainian. And gives a speech, and he's buddies with Schwab, too, who is the guy who groomed Putin. Oh, boy, so I, there's no way that, that Zelensky could be on board with this and be a giving his country up as a sacrificial lamb because he's a puppet for these people. Of course he is, and of course he can, because that's what he's doing, and that's what they're doing. And when it gets raised in Parliament, and of course in America, in the Senate, which laughable, give it C-SPAN on, nothing ever, this is a joke. But anyway, Parliament's just as a, much a joke in Canada, but it's actually more entertaining to watch because people actually do raise their voice and yell. When somebody brings this up to the, the, the uh, let's just call them the douche in the uh, bizarre wardrobe that some of these people wear, it reminds me of masonry, of course it gets shot down. And of course they have some puppet who's clearly one of the puppets in the cabinet that's been infiltrated by the World Economic Forum, shout back and say that it's disinformation. Listen. I had a constituent that wanted me to ask a question about outside interference to our democracy. Klaus Schwab is the head of the World Economic Forum, and he bragged how his subversive WWF World Economic Forum has quoted infiltrated governments around the world. He said that his organization had penetrated more than half of Canada's cabinet. And I was wondering, in the interest of transparency, could the member please name which cabinet ministers are on board with the WEF's agenda? My concern is the deputy. Uh, order, order, order. I, I know he was. I know the, uh, the member was in a, a really good, good question there, but the, the the audio is really, really bad, and the video is really, really bad as well. Um, and I and I and I apologize. I don't know if if the member. Okay, uh, let's let's uh, let's try again. The honorable the, the, the honorable member for Timmins James Bay. Mr. Speaker, that member was promoting open disinformation. That's not debate. We have to call out disinformation. Uh, we'll get into debate again. So they shoot it down and they say, oh, I couldn't hear the audio of Schwab. Uh, I could hear it pretty well. Do you want me to just, yeah? Okay. Today I was at a, rece at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau and I would know that half of this cabinet, or even more half of uh, half of this cabinet, are for our actually young noble leaders of the world. Yeah, that was loud and clear. So how would that be disinformation? Well, because that's what these freaks do. Whatever they disagree with, or, or well, this is what the liberals do. They disagree with whatever they hear and call it disinformation. Politicians call whatever, the, they don't disagree with it, they just call disinformation truth because they know exactly what we're exposing and doing. So if people out there want to stop the new world order, this would be the first place you should be looking. Because these people are grooming young children this way so that they can eventually be the young leaders of the world and control the world. My name is Sheila Lirio Marcello. My name is Arturo Condo. My name is Ida Alvin. Felix Maradiaga. Charmino Becinoe. It's Ruben Abraham. I'm Lisa Witter. My name is Len Kibayashi. I'm Esteban Bullrich. I'm Priv Bradu. A young global leader is a bold, brave, action oriented, entrepreneurial leader who decided to use their leadership talents to make the world a better place. As a society, as a community, and as the world, we need to have difficult conversations if we are to overcome the problems. For the first time, I can see that everybody from government and you know, companies and social innovators are trying to bring new ideas into the table. The YGL community offers a platform for young leaders to share their ideas and to agree on common values so they could be more effective on the work that we all do in trying to change the world. It's simply one of the most remarkable groups of people that I've ever interacted with and yet actually having their feet to the ground. The community is made up of leaders from all walks of life. 50% are business leaders, we have societal leaders, social entrepreneurs, politicians, intellectual and academic leaders from over 70 different countries around the world. More than 42% of our community are women leaders. We bring them together to learn from one another, translate their success 
into global significance. It's very important to learn from their expertise, to take help from them, to understand how they tackle issues in their own countries. And I've learned from them that you know, I should be taking a step back and looking at a big picture and seeing a way how I can contribute back to society. Things like Deworm the World, which has saved 41 million kids and kept them in school. I'm thinking of Global Dignity that was in 50 countries. That has immense impact on the lives of literally hundreds of millions of people. A group of us YGLs who are visiting a community in Lima of indigenous people from the Amazon to reimagine what a community looks like made out of Legos. To look at what are some of the things the community might need to help it thrive and have less violence. They knew how to get this opportunity of us going there to persuade the politics to come and also to move the community to say what they wanted. The World Economic Forum connects the work on the ground to the discussions that happen at high levels. And it's so important that we remember why. It's about the people. We are responsible for changing the world. We are responsible for making the world a better place for our kids. That's something that I want to strive for and I want the world to strive for. It's hard, but I think if each of us can strive for that in our own way, that is really, really powerful. So these young children who go through these systems, like Trudeau, like Putin did, are controlled by this specific group. And this is not the only group, but this is one of the highest groups that there are. And we've seen Biden there shaking hands and kissing. We've seen the president of China there, right? All this man, Mr. Schwab, who's just, what did he do? Wake up one day and start this group and say, I'm going to start a group where all the countries get together and are friends. Oh, and of course, it's, it's not NATO. Or it's not the, it's not the uh, United Nations, I should say. Oh, it's just this group, the World Economic Forum. You know, because me and you, we wake up tomorrow and we go, I want to be an entrepreneur. I'm going to come up with an idea. I'm going to start some group. And we're all, I'm going to get all the presidents from all the countries to come and be my friend. And we're all going to talk about peace and how we could, you know, improve the world together. Oh, okay. And then all the presidents show up. They all kiss each other's butts. Kiss Schwab's butt, right, directly. Yeah, because that makes perfect sense. Who is this man and what power does he wield and how and why? Well, I wonder what his faith is. I wonder, you already know the answer to that. I wonder if he speaks directly to Satan because we know the Rothschilds do. And I know people think that's crazy talk, but it's not. Schwab wields massive power, possibly just as much, maybe not on the same level as the Rothschilds do. You could see his control and his power here. You could see them pushing where the climate change agenda comes from. And I've talked, and I'll cover it again, what I believe climate change has to do with the quantum computers. It has to do with summoning these things that have to have a colder atmosphere. And that's why they talk about global warming, because they need to cool the earth. But I don't want to go into that rant now, but it's definitely something you should watch, watch out for on this channel and listen to and start understanding it. Because it's, it, there is global warming being done, technically, but it's not really happening. They're deliberately doing this stuff to destroy the atmosphere. But this is the World Economic Forum. They bring these things that we see as, uh, the idiots see as problems to the attention of these countries. And these puppets go out there and do their bidding, such as bringing in martial law, causing um, people who are doing peaceful protests to you know, be arrested or have their bank accounts frozen. These are the people who have the same two guys who are at war Ukraine and Russia, the same two puppets in the same room at the same time, right? One of whom is on the record as being groomed. And I guarantee you the other guy's been groomed too by the World Economic Forum. I'm sure after he had the fraudulent slip there that he was told or he realized he shouldn't have said that with the way tech, you know, his technology he loves so much is out there where people can capture this and tell people, hey, this guy has groomed them at this school. You know, where he's teaching all these young kids to be world leaders and then, oh, they don't go back to him and he has no say in this stuff. The guy who wants that just coincidentally wants the same agendas for globalism that these guys want. Yeah, it must be a coincidence. We all were born this morning. Huh? I don't think so. So that's where you start, where you search for who's behind what and who's pulling the strings. Putin, 
the Ukraine president, the president of China, Biden, even Trump, all of them are in bed with these organizations like this, specifically this one, the World Economic Forum. You know, United Nations is the United Nations, which is pretty much the same thing. You know, it's got a little bit of a different ring to it. This is more about how we can, you know, change things with technology and evolve and fight climate change, right? And all these guys show up there. And then all these things just happen. These young world leaders that we have now at the same time are causing problems and trouble for all of us, the humans that they want to destroy, right? Where's Schwab hiding right now? I wonder. I wonder where this creep is hiding. Probably in the pit of hell. But I can't say much more. I don't want to get a strike. And that's why this video is available on both YouTube and my website. I figure it's worth risking a strike. And you might say, oh, what would you get a strike for? Who knows? Like I said, I could breathe on the microphone and get a strike. I could sneeze and get one at this point. With some of the stuff I get, just get chimed for. Ching, what's the strike for now? Bullying Jared Leto. Oh, how interesting. I bully Jared Leto by doing a video talking about his tattoos. Okay, great. I mean, it's ridiculous. So again, check out the website if you haven't. Share this video while you can on YouTube so people understand that all these guys are puppets. They're not voted into power. They're put into power by these organizations. They're handpicked, groomed, literally, from when they're young children to do the bidding for the new world order. And all they are are talking zombie puppets who Lord only knows what they went through to get in those positions. I don't want to know, but we can imagine. I thank you guys for being here. Hope to see you on the website. God bless all of you and your families.